Hello, this is a quick demo of the distance gauge that I designed for the Laser Tracker 4. I made two versions, one with a single probe and one with double probes. The single probe version is good for flat surface as is or anything small. What you do is you push this bar on the top against the housing of the lens, but don't scratch the lens, and then change the height of your engraver until the tip of the probe touches the surface to be engraved and that will give you 150 millimeters exactly. If you accidentally lowered your engraver too much, don't worry, this spring-loaded tip will basically depress and reveal a visible gap over here so you know you've gone too far and then you just raise your engraver a little bit until the t uh, this tip recovers at its natural position here. Um, in my case, my engraver engraves best at 149 millimeters. So to me, I can do either, I measure the 150 mil exactly, take this probe away, and then lower my engraver by one or two touches. Um, or I can use some like knife or fingernail clippers to trim this tip a little bit by one mil, and that would give me 149 mil. Um, and then when you don't use this, or when you're traveling with your engraver, you can clip this onto the handle like so. And then you can remove it easily. Um, and this is the two, the double probe version. Uh, this is useful for things like cylindrical object on the rotary axis, or when you tilt your engraver to engrave at an angle, you want to make sure the surface to be engraved is parallel to the bottom of your engraver. So the focus is correct all over the entire engraving area. So what you do is you slide this onto the housing of your lens like that. It will basically stay there by itself. You adjust the height of your engraver until the two tips touch the engraving surface. But that would give you the correct distance on this axis. Next, if your object is large, you want to turn this like 90 degrees and then check again if these two tips are still touching the surface on this direction. And then finally, when you're sure your surface is um, parallel to your engraver, you just remove this gauge like this. Um, make sure that after printing, um, there's a little gap over here make sure it's freed like that. If it's fused together, use a sharp knife or something to separate it so this probe can move freely like this.